Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisi, the beauty icon. So today I'm going to show you guys what importance it is to map out and visualize where you're going with your quick wave. There's lots of details in this video, so stay tuned. So here I used Velvet Remy Terra 2, 4, and 6 inch hair and I did a custom color on it. So before we begin, take a look at how I molded her hair. So I took the wrap strips and molded down the sides really smooth and tied that around. Then I went with my gel, weaving net, and then my cap. And I glued the perimeter of it so it'll stay down. So I used this method to prevent thinning, especially for clients who have thin hair areas. And it also allows the glue to adhere to the weaving net instead of the hair. So right here, I'm showing you the pre-colored hair. It's still a little damp, but it's okay. And now I'm cutting off the wrap strips from around the sides of her head to get those that out of the way as we begin the tracking process. So since she was unsure about the length that she wanted, I started with the four inch track just to make sure that we have enough length for her cut. But normally I will start with the two inch um, for the size, just so we'll start with the shorter pieces first. So to all my stylists, future stylists and at home stylists, you have to visualize where you're going when you're doing track placement. If you can visualize it, you, you wouldn't have a clue on where you're going with it. So I'm going to make this very easy for everybody. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to draw it out. Because when you see it, everything becomes clear. Now some of you might ask, why did I use a black cap for the white hair? So the only reason I use the black cap is because I use black glue. So when I'm tracking my lighter pieces on a black cap, the glue kind of minimized the cap anyway. So it's okay to use um, black glue on a black cap when you're doing white. I mean, it's personal preference. If you want to use a white cap, or a new new color cap that's your own preference but i chose the black cap because that works better for me and especially with the black glue um normally i don't like the white glue because it doesn't stick as good as the black glue so that's why i'm using black glue as well because it grabs the cap quicker than the white glue would so now that this is finished we're going to the top and we're just going to continue to follow the pattern. So here I'm using the six inch tracks and I just want it to be full on the top. So here we're using our circle pattern and we're just going to continue to spiral the tracks all the way in. So here's where we cheat a little bit. We're going to take this closure and we're going to make it fit into this circle. It's just easier than spiraling the hair all the way in. And you just want to make sure that your circle is small enough or big enough to fit that closure. So again, I use the black glue to close it in. The key here is to not use so much glue that it seeps through the hair. You want to use just enough to make it stick. So also with the cutting, you want to make sure you see it first, visualize it, and then create. As 
since I'm cutting, I'm cutting it shorter in the middle and as it goes toward the face, longer. As I mentioned in my previous video, I'm still holding the hair in my hand while I'm cutting a little bit just so I can have a feel of how much hair is being cut off. That's just the safety net that keeps me from overcutting the hair. So here I'm taking my thinning shears and I'm going across the back of the head and I'm just kind of thinning it out and even it up at the same time. So now that the cutting is done, we can go ahead and line her up. And I'm using my T outliners by Andy's to do so. So once this is done, we can begin the curling process. Now I'm using my half inch flat irons just to start and I'm doing a slight bend of the hair, not a harsh curl, not anything hard. I'm just kind of smoothing the hair with the flat irons with slight curvature. Off camera, I did spray some Stay by Straight with Chris on her hair to kind of lock in those curls. Normally after the cut, I would probably mold her hair, but this time I decided not to. But it's up to you guys. You guys know your hair. Um, if you want to mold it, that'll be fine. If not, you can kind of just make sure that everything blends in in a direction that you would want it to go. Now, Nairobi is normally my go-to to mold hair, but I have learned the hard way never to use Nairobi on light colored hair because it tends to leave a green finish or a blue finish depending on what color the hair is. So you would probably want to use something clear, some kind of clear foam or a clear setting spray on light colored hair. So here I'm using my one inch Baby Bliss flat irons for the longer lengths of hair.
after all the finishing touches, a client smile ensures satisfaction. So that's it for today, guys. Don't forget, I have an online store for those who like uh, removable quick weave units. I have the bob style available and shortcuts available. Also, for those who are interested in making wigs, I have a class coming up soon. Stay tuned for more details. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below, guys, on what you, what you think about these videos. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much and you be blessed.